Hi, Melody. <laughs> okay, I'm back. And my phone is going off. Because my boyfriend is coming to Denver in like two hours. Okay. So, I don't even know where it started freezing. I just realized I was on like the wrong Wi-Fi network because we have like 80 in our um, development. So, where did I leave off? And in regards to are we ever going to see Cam? Oh, by the way, hey Nikki, it's Weeks Off. Thanks for stopping by. I love you. Um, are we ever going to see Cam? I've tweeted pictures before, but you probably won't see him on Ustream, so it's okay. My boyfriend's name is Cameron, for those of you who are asking. Um, where did I leave off? Oh, I was talking about being a Republican. Okay, yes. Um, oh, it was in regards to the question. Somebody said, are you mad, are you a lesbian? Are you mad that your dad wanted a boy instead? Um, firstly, my dad didn't want a boy. Um, he loves me. I'm his first child. Like, well, who can say that about a parent who has a kid? That's like... Oh, I really love you, kid. I'm sorry you have Down syndrome. Uh, next. Like, who says that? Um, anyway. But, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. But yes, going back to my Republican comment, um, I think everybody's entitled to their own sexuality, regardless of what it is. And as soon as people hear that you're Republican, they automatically assume that you're, like, anti-gay, anti-whatever. But I fully support the LGBT community, and I work with a lot of organizations and sporting, um, events that really rally and promote the gay community. And as a Republican, I would, I love taking a stand on that. So, in regards to the comment... I'm mad that my dad wanted a boy, and, or my dad's mad that I, he wanted a boy and that I, I'm a lesbian. You're really kind of wrong. So, thanks for stopping by. Who's my favorite Jersey Shore person? Pauly D, because he's fine. Actually, my, Cameron looks just like him. How tall am I? I am 5'6". But I do look really big in the episode on Monday. Like, I look like I'm really tall, which is kind of funny. Um, have I ever been to Canada? Team Canada. Bro, I have not been to Canada. However, I have really good friends that live in Toronto as well as, um, Vancouver. <coughs> Excuse me. My little brother is 11 and loves you. Nikki, say hi, Justin. Hi, Justin. Um. Migs, gizm, hold on, I'm trying to slow down your comments. I can't see it all. Anyway. Yes. Oh, and in regards to the use of the word gay, I know some people are offended. It's just a regular day thing. Like, I say that, like, sometimes I'll be like, oh my god, that is so straight. And people are like, what? And it's like, opposite of gay, duh. So, don't be offended. I'm, you know, I have my bracelet that says I love boobies on. God. Guys. <laughs> Silly. Um, Pauly D is a G. I didn't watch the reunion yet, so don't tell me what happens. Uh, I can probably recap it for you right now. Um, Sammy and Ronnie are probably back together at this point, even though they're really not in real life. And they're like, we're working on things. We just matured a lot in the process. Like, we totally like real up. And I'm like, realized a lot. And like, totally got to see how we were on TV. And like, that is not a good luck. So, I'm not really sure what's going to happen. <laughs> Let's see. Who is my favorite Yankee? Or hey Posada? Hands down. Where did I get the dress that I was wearing during the fight? I honestly think I got that at Forever 21. Um, I, we can't wear anything with labels. So before I went on the show, my entire wardrobe was done. Like I couldn't wear any of my stuff. So I literally had to go and buy a slew of white beaters, um, a ton of stuff that didn't have labels. That's why you'll see like if I have like something that's Ralph Lauren, there's tape on it. Um, I was able to sneak my Nikes in, so whatever. Uh, Will Marie loves to pull hair, huh? Weak. Yeah, for me, if you're gonna hit, uh, hit, don't pull hair. That's the first thing she goes for, so it is what it is. Do I follow my fans? I try to follow all of them. Oh my god, you guys are going so fast. What do you guys want to talk about? I'm going out tonight. Let me tell you about my life. Like, this is a fucking you stream. Like, what's going on? Fucking Bad Girls Club is not even on on Monday, so I'm making my own episode, and it's called Nikki and Cameron go to the motherfucking mountain and go snowboarding, and I kick his ass, even though he claims to be better than me, whatever, he's gonna lose, but he is a little GTLer and is super cute, and I can't wait to see him, oh my god, it's going by so fast, what other sport besides football do you like to play, I actually play lacrosse, um, that's my second favorite sport, I play that competitively still, um, I do like tennis for, like, recreational fun. That's another fun thing for me. Snowboarding, obviously, I don't really consider that, like, a, you know, full contact, like, everyday sport that I can go and do. Um, uh, bodybuilding's a passion of mine. I love to lift. Um, I try to go, I used to go five or six days a week during football season, which everyone wonders why I was so big on the show. It's because I had just come from six months of preseason of four-day practices a week. So when you're training four hours a day for four days a week, you try not gaining two pounds of muscle a week. <laughs> 
let's see. Doodaloo, doodaloo, ba. Oh my god, Cameron is 31. Do I smoke trees? No, I don't smoke or do drugs. Not my thing. Are you am I DTF? Always. Hello. That's what I should have got on my fucking lip. DTF. You know what I'm gonna do? Next tattoo. Except Cameron doesn't really like it, so I'm gonna do it on the sneak and be like, hey babe. DTF? He's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Let's see. Rule number 76, play like a champ. If you guys can tell me what movie that's from, you're a G, and you might get a fan call for that. Um, let's see, let's see. I can't say if I ever fight Char. You a bitch and you a hoe, you bitch ass hoe. Uh, favorite YouTuber? I don't fucking go on YouTube. I'm sorry, I have no idea. Uh, my favorite movie is Dumb and Dumber. Goodbye, my love. <laughs> His favorite movie. Uh, Twin Status is showering right now, so as soon as he's done, maybe I should just go in there and dump a fucking bucket of cold. It is April Fool's Day tomorrow. I'm going to get a bucket of ice water, open the shower, and dump it on him. I think he's actually pooping, so hold on. Bro, I'm totally going to do that. And I'm going to flip cam it. Yes, I'm going to fucking do that tomorrow morning because right now I don't have time and I want to be able to upload it. So it's, And if you guys tell him, I'm going to be so pissed because it's not funny. Um, I'm going to get a bucket of ice, ice water when he's showering in the morning. Cameron's going to hold the camera. I'm going to go in there and dump the ice on him and freeze his ass off. Morning. It's April Fool's Day, bitches. <laughs> um, let's see. Wedding Crashers. Yes, it is. I'm so glad you guys got that. <laughs> um... Whenever you talk about Cameron, you always have the biggest smile on your face. It's so adorable. Well, I really like him, and anybody who knows when they really like somebody, it's like, mm. <laughs> Um, What part of Jersey am I from? I grew up in the 201. I grew up in Kearney, but when I was in 8th grade, I moved to the HC, which is Hunterdon County, and it's the best county ever, and I love my hometown. Represent. Um, Jessica and, are Jessica and I friends till this day? Yes, we, I'll talk a little bit about that. Jessica and I were friends really, really a lot in the beginning. Um, and then there was obviously a rumor started by God knows who in the fucking house, but you guys can take a guess. And Jessica obviously sided with that particular person. And you know what? No hard feelings to Bad Girls Club. I wasn't going to cry about it. I knew she would see it on TV. I knew she would turn around and, you know, have her own opinion about things. And, yeah, we are friends. And that's probably why when I hit her, she understood, like, the frustration. And she wasn't really that um, angry back. Nikki, if I'm 24 and I hook up with a 19-year-old, is that bad? Oh my god, these are going so fast, guys. What the fuck? Hold on. Your muscles have muscles. No, they don't. No, they don't. Um, what the fuck? Let me X out of this um, chat, and I'm going to open the chat again. So if whatever you're saying, reset it in a minute. Why isn't it letting me slow it down? Ugh. Yeah, I still have, like, tanning lotion on me. Like, I don't even know. Got my nails done, though. Look pretty fucking jiggy. There's a flower. Here comes Twin naked. I'm gonna throw this beer can at him. Oh! What's up, ho? What's up? You a bitch and you a ho. Play with it. Say hi. They're asking me you. Let's go out of the shower. Take it off. Take it <laughs> off. Take it off. You guys aren't even doing anything fun on here. What's going on? Well, because um, they're asking me questions and it's boring because you're not here. What the <sighs> fuck? Tarzan looking at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's so sexy. What position do I play in football? Linebacker, backup center, and kicker. I have a prank that I'm doing. Did I hit my head yesterday? Yup, motherfucker got hammered and fell. I fell? Yeah. Can Twin do his hair like you? Oh my god. I can't wait to get fucked up. His hair smells amazing, actually. He uses Pantene Pro-B for women of color. 
Hit on me some more. Hit on me some more. <laughs> you should get cornrows, I said. <laughs> <coughs> Have I played Tiger before? Yes, that's actually my third favorite sport. I'm dying, guys. Is any of the bad girls fake for stage? No, it's not. For the 90th time, you asked it 90 times. Yeah, they really don't stage anymore. Why didn't you get sent home? You slapped Will Murray twice, which led to two fights. Well, here's my response to that. I don't give a fuck who I slap, because that shit's hilarious. And if you're going to sit there and take a slap from anybody, that's even more hilarious and more embarrassing. So, no, I'm not going to get sent home for a slap. Will I get sent home for something else? You never know. However, I will say this. The reason why I did slap her is because I knew if I threw a punch, I would go home right then and there, and I really wanted to fight. So, and nobody else would step up in the house. Let's see. Do I still talk to the guys that I met in L.A.? No, but I have their number still. I mean, I could talk to them. I just choose not to because I have a boyfriend now, and it would just be weird to, hey, what are you doing? Want to hang out? Okay, cool. We, we boned, but we're just going to hang out. <laughs> Hey, remember when we did it? On TV? <laughs> uh, where did I get this bracelet? I got it at Tilly's. I don't know where they sell them, though. You can probably get them online. Uh, let's see. You look really pretty tonight. Guys, thanks. I'm literally post-tan, like, pre-shower status right now. What about Gino? The thing about Gino... Okay, a lot of you guys... I forgot that you guys just saw that episode. The thing about Gino is... Gino and I went on a date. We went out to Echo. That night was the night that I... Fought Wilmery, which is where it cuts off in the episode. You guys don't know what happens after that point, but the reason why I obviously couldn't have him over or anything with him that night was because I was fighting. So that's just like a no-no, too much controversy, whatever. And you no, know, I was fucking hammered. I was blackout. The first time that I actually saw the um, entire fight, excuse me, the entire fight was when I got the episode, excuse me, beforehand. I didn't remember a fucking thing, which was awesome about it. Um... Do I have sex with my twin? No. Oh, Gino's thing about the phone. They did that. If you guys see my reaction and his, his response, it's the same thing over and over again. It's like, huh? What? He did ask me two or three times, but it wasn't nine times. Like, they made it seem like it was. Do I like Aubrey O'Day's show? Do I like it? Yes. I love Aubrey O'Day. I've loved her since back making the band. In fact, I, she told me that I was her favorite bad girl for my season, and I tweeted her yesterday, which you guys all should do it. Tell her that I told you guys to tweet her because she just got signed with Universal as an independent record. And... Um, and she tweeted me back and said, thanks, bro, XOXO, and I saved it as one of my favorites. I absolutely love her. Um, was Gino married? No, he wasn't. I asked him the same thing. I didn't show that. He just wore it on that hand, too. My Zodiac sign is a Leo. Wow. <laughs> 